With Flight 10 approaching, anticipation is high, as SpaceX prepares to test Starship's ability to survive re-entry, one of the most challenging phases of its mission. The biggest question is whether Starship will finally handle one of its hardest tests, coming back through Earth's atmosphere. This part of the mission is where the spacecraft faces extreme heat and stress. To survive this, Starship needs a strong heat shield. SpaceX has made many changes to this part of the vehicle, and now everyone wants to know if those changes will work. Here's a breakdown of the upgrades SpaceX made to prepare Starship for re-entry. In earlier test flights, especially the first version of Starship, the heat shield did not work very well. When Starship came back to Earth, the extreme heat caused damage to the ship. The ceramic tiles that protect the outside of Starship sometimes came loose or broke during this phase. Because of this, the spacecraft did not make it through re-entry in one piece. After learning from those flights, SpaceX moved on to a second version of Starship. They added a lot of upgrades, but those flights did not reach the re-entry phase properly. Many of them lost control before that part of the mission. So even though SpaceX said the new version had improvements, they were not tested enough to know for sure. This is why Flight 10 is very important. It will help show if the new upgrades really work. The main focus is on the heat shield, which is like the protective skin of Starship. This system has gotten major upgrades that SpaceX hopes will finally solve the problems from earlier flights. Recent photos from the SpaceX factory show some of the new features. Ship 37, which is being prepared for Flight 10, has new white dots on some of the heat shield tiles. These dots were not seen in older versions. Experts think these are extra reinforcements that make the tiles stronger in areas that get the hottest during re-entry. We cannot see the full ship because it is still inside the building, but Ship 38 gives us a better look. On this version, there are clear white lines between the tiles. These lines show that SpaceX may be using a stronger glue or filling material to keep the tiles in place. This design first appeared on Ship 36 and seems to be part of all newer Starships. These new white lines and dots are meant to stop the tiles from moving or falling off when Starship comes back into the atmosphere. This is very important because even one missing tile could lead to the vehicle failing. Another upgrade is that the tiles are now shaped in a way that makes the edges smoother. This is done to prevent certain areas from heating up more than others. These hot spots were a problem in earlier tests, so this design change could help spread the heat more evenly. SpaceX has also worked on the layers underneath the tiles. These layers are designed to help absorb and spread out the heat. Elon Musk has said that these changes could make the heat shield system twice as strong as before. There has also been talk about using a completely new kind of heat shield. SpaceX has started putting in metal tiles on some parts of Starship. These tiles are made from stainless steel, which is the same material used for the body of the spacecraft. This is a big change because Starship usually uses ceramic tiles. The metal tiles are still in the testing phase. They are designed to work with a cooling system that uses the spacecraft's own fuel to carry away heat. This is very different from the ceramic system, which just absorbs the heat and then cools down naturally. The idea behind using metal tiles comes from the fact that stainless steel is easier and cheaper to make than ceramic. It is also stronger and less likely to break. Ceramic tiles are very heat resistant, but they are also fragile. They crack easily and need to be checked and replaced after every flight. The metal tiles, if they work, could last for up to 50 flights with little or no repair needed. This would be a huge benefit for SpaceX because it would make Starship much easier and cheaper to reuse. Starship uses about 18,000 small ceramic tiles to protect its surface. Each one must be checked after a flight to make sure it is still in place. If one is cracked or missing and nobody notices, it could lead to a serious failure during re-entry. This is why the process is slow and expensive. Metal tiles could solve this problem. They do not crack as easily, and they do not need to be checked as often. This would allow Starship to fly more often, which is a major goal for SpaceX. The company wants to make space travel fast, safe, and as normal as taking an airplane. One more thing about metal tiles is that they are better at handling stress. While ceramic breaks under pressure, metal can bend a little without breaking. 
It can also spread heat faster, which lets engineers use new ways to keep the spacecraft cool. For example, SpaceX wants to use liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which are the same fuels used in Starship's engines, to cool the heat shield. As the metal tiles get hot, the cold fuels can be sent through pipes behind the tiles to soak up the heat. Then the now warm fuel can be sent to the engines and burned. This saves fuel and helps keep the spacecraft safe. Stainless steel has a unique property. It becomes stronger when exposed to very high temperatures. Some tests have shown that heat causes a special reaction in the steel, making it more solid. This is different from what most people think, as many materials get weaker when hot, but in this case, the heat could make the shield even better. Even with all these benefits, SpaceX is still testing the metal tiles. One issue is that it is hard to see when a metal tile is damaged. Ceramic tiles usually crack, which is easy to see. But metal tiles might bend or weaken in ways that are not easy to spot. This makes it harder to check them for damage. Also, if a metal tile fails, it could affect other parts of the spacecraft because metal can pass heat and energy quickly. That means one broken tile could cause more serious problems. SpaceX is working on ways to fix this and make sure the system is safe. In past flights, SpaceX even removed some of the ceramic tiles on purpose. The goal was to test what would happen if the inside of the ship was exposed to re-entry heat. These tests helped engineers understand how much damage the inside structure could take and how the metal parts would hold up. Now for Flight 10, the upgraded heat shield will be tested again. The goal is for the ship to launch, survive the heat of space, come back through the atmosphere, and land safely in the ocean. If this works, SpaceX can move forward with even bigger plans. The long-term goal is to land Starship not in the ocean, but back at the launch site. This would be done using the launch tower's arms to catch the ship as it returns. To do this, the ship must be strong, heat-proof, and easy to control. If Starship starts carrying cargo or people in the future, the heat shield becomes even more important. It must protect not just the spacecraft, but everything inside it. That is why these new upgrades are so critical. In one test last year, SpaceX exposed heat shield materials to fire as hot as what the ship would face in real flight. They even let the material crack on purpose, just to learn how far they could push it. This kind of testing helps make future shields stronger and more reliable. These upgrades also make it possible to use different types of heat shields for different missions. For short missions in low orbit, ceramic tiles may be good enough. But for long trips to Mars, Metal tiles could be the better choice. This kind of flexible design allows SpaceX to tailor Starship for different missions. Ceramic tiles for short Earth orbit flights and metal tiles for long journeys like Mars, saving both time and cost. It means they can change the vehicle depending on where it is going, which saves time and money. The heat shield is key to making Starship reusable, helping lower the cost of space travel. Flight 10 will test if recent upgrades work. Whatever the outcome, SpaceX will gain data to improve future designs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.